Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the topic named History of Microbiology. The existence of microorganisms was hypothesized for many centuries before they were discovered. The existence of unseen microbial life was postulated by Jainism, which is based on Mahavira's teaching as early as 6th century BCE. Jain scriptures describe nigodas, which are sub-microscopic creatures living in large clusters and having a very short life, said to pervert every part of the universe, even in the tissues of plants and flesh of animals. The Roman Marcus Tarentus Varro made references to microbes when he warned against locating a homestead in the vicinity of Sphinx. He said, Certain minute creatures which cannot be seen by eyes, which float in the air and enter the body through the mouth and nose and thereby cause the diseases. In the golden age of Islamic civilization, Iranian scientists hypothesized the existence of microorganisms such as Avicenna. In his book, The Canon of Medicine, Al bin Zuhar, also known as Avanzo, the Girolima. Girolamo Fracasco in 1546 proposed that epidemic diseases were caused by transferable cell like entities that could transmit transmit infection by direct or indirect or vehicle transmission. It has, however, been suggested that a Zazis priest called Athanasius Kircher was the first to observe microorganisms. Kircher was among the first to design magic lanterns for projection purposes, so he must have been well acquainted with the properties of lenses. He wrote concerning the wonderful structure of things in nature investigated by microscope in 1646, stating who would believe that vinegar and milk abound with an innumerable multitude of worms. He also noted that the putrid material is full of innumerable creeping animacules. He published his Scrutinium Pestis examination of plague in 1658, stating correctly that the disease cause was by microbes, though what he saw was almost likely red or white blood cells rather than the plague agent itself. In 1676, Antony van Leeuwenhoek, Hoek, who lived most of his life in Delft, Holland, observed the bacteria and other microorganisms using single lens microscope of his own design. He is considered as the father of microbiology as he pointed the use of simple single lens microscope of his own design. Lazaro Spallanzani found that boiling broth would sterilize it and kill any microorganism could settle only in the broth if the broth was exposed to the air. Louis Pasteur expanding Spallanzani's finding by exposing boiled broths to the air in the vessel that contained a filter to prevent all the particles from passing through to the growth medium. Thus Pasteur dealt the death blow to the theory of spontaneous generation and supported germ theory instead. Ferdinand Julius Kahn was a German biologist. His classification of bacteria into four groups based on shapes like spherical, short rods, threads, and spirals is still in use today. Among other things, Kohn is remembered for being the first to show that bacillus can change from vegetative state to an endospore state when subjected to an endospore state, uh, environmental deleterious to vegetative state. In 1876, Robert Koch established that microbes can cause disease. He found that the blood of cattle who were infected with anthrax always had large number of bacillus anthracis. Based on this experiment, he devised criteria for establishing a causal link between a microbe and a disease and these are known as his Koch pastulates. In short, theory proposed by Mahavira in India was in 6th century BC 
the Roman Marcus Tarentus Varro The Roman Marcus Tarentus Varro may references in microbes Iranian scientists hypothesized the existence of microbes in 1546 Girolamo Fracastro proposed theory about epidemic diseases in 1646 Athanasius Kircher was the first to observe microorganisms indirectly in 1676 Anthony van Leeuwenhoek observed the microorganisms under single lensed microscope has Lazarus Palenzani proposed that boiling and sterilization can kill microorganisms. Louis Pasteur proposed the pasteurization theory and supported germ theory. Ferdinand Julius Cohen in 1872 classified bacteria on basis of their shape. In 1876, Robert Koch proposed Koch postulates. Thank you for seeing our video.